when I went to school on reservation, we were taught art. Went to Nebraska in 1940, we weren't taught art. We didn't have art. It was considered a waste of time to, to have kids take art. But I did it on my own. When you're young and in school, you don't ever think about going in a teaching profession. My name's Don Rulo. I was an educator for 45 years. But I, I got married while I was in the Navy. And Betty had, after I got out, seen some of my work I used to do in high school. And she finally convinced me to go to college. So I came here to Shadron. A Bill Artis, African-American artist, was teaching here. And he is the one that talked to me one day about art. It's tough to make a living as an artist. He said, go into education, be a teacher. You need food, clothing, lodging. You get paid every month. My first teaching job was in uh, Garing, Nebraska, junior, senior high school art. And I signed a contract in Leeds, South Dakota. Went to Leeds, junior, senior high school art teacher. And I taught up there something like 25 years. There's still this mentality that art isn't important in kids' lives. But in art, it's different from the other academic classes because there's no right and wrong. Sometimes they might go off on a little tangent and not think whatever they've done has any value, but then when you sit down and visit with them, they can see, yeah, this was some creative thinking here. And so it, it builds up a lot of confidence in a lot of these youngsters. It makes them feel like, hey, I can do something. I'm somebody. Became good friends with Dick Bird. He's a department chair. He said, you know, if you lived in Shadron, at your age, you can take classes free. So I thought, gee, that's a good deal. We moved to Shadron. I became a student again. I was a student for one year, and then Mr. Bird said, would you like to teach for us? So I went back into teaching, and it was a totally different experience working with college kids because they're mature. They know what their objectives are. They want to get an education. They're planning on becoming teachers, and they take the job real serious. So it was like being revitalized, and I really enjoyed the teaching up there. I had some wonderful students I worked with for 10 years. And uh, I think I was about 79 years old at that time, and I, my wife thought, maybe I've been teaching long enough. But when they called me from Lincoln, the Art Council, it really surprised me. And I didn't know what to say to that lady that, that called me, because I, didn't re I never thought I'd ever get an award like that. I just feel that I was an average art teacher, you know, trying to teach these kids something about art. <laughs>